Sharia is Islamic law. It's derived from the Quran and the Sunnah, that is the way of Muhammad, as derived from the Hadith, the reports on his words and deeds, and the Sirah, his biography. It's based on the Quran's numerous commands to obey Allah and obey the Messenger, that is Muhammad. Sharia governs every aspect of life. It contains rules for every conceivable human behavior. It centers on Muhammad's example as the perfect example of conduct for Muslims and the model for emulation in all circumstances. It contains rules for the governing of the state as well as of individual behavior. And with its denial of the freedom of speech and the equality of rights for women and non-Muslims, it is absolutely incompatible with the principles and freedoms of the U.S. Constitution. Muslims are commanded to try to extend the rule of Sharia over all lands, Muslim and non-Muslim. Because it is considered to be the perfect law of Allah, Sharia is not susceptible to reform or revision. Most majority Muslim countries today do not fully implement Sharia, which causes some people to mistakenly believe that there are moderate versions of Sharia that don't call for stoning, amputation, beheading, and the like. But in reality, every form of Sharia mandates such punishments, but not all Muslim countries implement them. Now, despite all this, Muslims maintain that Sharia is the supreme manifestation of justice and results in a just society when it is implemented. This is because words often don't mean the same things to Muslims that they do to Westerners. Justice in the Quran does not mean equal treatment for all people. The Quran and Islam in general doesn't teach that all people are equal in dignity. On the contrary, while it tells Muslims that they are the best nation produced as an example for mankind, it says of they who disbelieved among the people of the scripture and the polytheists that they are the worst, the most vile of created beings. The Quran directs Muslims not to treat each group equally, but rather to be forceful against the disbelievers while being merciful among themselves, that is, among fellow Muslims. In line with this, the Islamic law of retaliation, or kisas, for murder establishes as a point of law that the life of a non-Muslim does not have the same value as that of a Muslim, and that a woman's life is not as valuable as a man's. A Sharia manual certified by the most respected authority in Sunni Islam, Al-Azhar University in Cairo, as conforming to the practice and faith of the Orthodox Sunni community, stipulates that a payment can be made for taking a woman's life, but it's only half of that to be paid for taking a man's life, and that there's also a sliding scale based on religious belief. If somebody kills a Jew or a Christian, one need pay only one-third of that which must be paid for killing an adult male Muslim. Now, these are universal Islamic principles. An Iranian Sufi Muslim cleric, Sheikh Sultan Hussein Tabande, who was instrumental in formulating the legal code for the Islamic Republic of Iran after the Islamic Revolution of 1979, justified exactly this kind of inequality in his commentary on the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. He said this, if a Muslim deliberately murders another Muslim, he falls under the law of retaliation and must by law be put to death by the next of kin. But if a non-Muslim who dies at the hand of a Muslim has by lifelong habit been a non-Muslim, the penalty of death is not valid. Instead, the Muslim murderer must pay a fine and be punished with the lash. Now, why is that? He explains, because Islam regards non-Muslims as on a lower level of belief and conviction. Therefore, he says, if a Muslim kills a non-Muslim, then his punishment must not be the retaliatory death, since the faith and conviction he possesses is loftier than that of the man slain. Tabanda concludes, Islam and its peoples must be above the infidels and never permit non-Muslims to acquire lordship over them. That institutionalized inequality and the devaluation of non-Muslim lives is the hallmark of Sharia. For more information on this, go to this website.